also we got the conspiracy clips that Ann was talking about earlier. Oh, good, yeah. I so which one do you want to do? Oh, God damn. At this point, we do have to take a break, Come on. then. Jesse. We still have an hour. We'll Jesse, squeeze both Jesse. of them in. Yeah, Patrice please. O'Neal, Big Mama Prods on Twitter. We'll take a quick break. Obi and Anthony with Patrice O'Neal. We got uh, Conspiracy Theory with Jesse Ventura. The fucking Jesse stuff's really good, Patrice. We kind of talked about fucking do. You know I love Conspiracy Theory. Jesse, Jesse is a complete ass. Talked about him a little this morning when we first got on. <laughs> Watched the show last night. I guess it's the second show. Uh, that he's done so far. The first one was on Harp, a big electronic antenna in Alaska, and, mind uh, control, mind controlling device. And last night was 9/11, and his whole take on 9/11 just makes you want to. I swear to God, uh, it makes you want to kick your fucking TV. Jesse's an ass. Well, the 9/11 stuff is great, and we start our show talking about this. You want to start with the narrator? You said the narrator is good at. Yeah, the narrator is great. He talks about the Bill Curtis? Jesse like, you know, he calls him the governor, and, and says that when he's going into these uh, situations and uh, describes, he, and makes it sound so important, and it's just some fucking uh, 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 fat old wrestler walking around trying to get attention. This is Jesse. Yeah, mm -hmm. Jesse. Don't call fucking Jesse a fat old wrestler. He is. A goddamn governor. He was. He was. I, I'll, I'll buy it for the president. We have and to he was a president. great wrestler, by the way. And the best Mike wrestler of all time. Yeah. Yeah, he was, was he great, that good. So great color let's, commentator. Let's not fucking. I remember the Belittle well, my friend. People, you he's can lost take people's past. He's lost a couple steps. You though, can take Patrice. people's past. Oh, he's an old motherfucker. And then now I'm, he's a, he's getting old, and he's and and there's some people who shouldn't be in charge of enlightening people. Yeah, I love Jesse. He's one of them. But yeah. he shouldn't be in charge. Watch out, motherfuckers! <laughs> the world Nostradamus 2012 is going It's like. It's too. You need somebody a little more subtle, yeah, with a little yeah. more wit, to fucking inform you that the end of the world is. Coming. I'm a Navy we got Seal, Doctor. Yeah, no, Doctor Michu Kaku. Explain the whole thing. Oh my thing. God! Look at look at Jesse. Man, he, this is old school Jesse. Oh, he's a with great. Fleetwood Mac. I've been partying with Ario Speedwagon. I've even arm wrestled the Werewolf of London, Warren Zevon. I am the hottest thing in professional wrestling. I am the baddest dude that walks the streets today, Chump Hogan. And you think about that, Chump, because you could not beat me. You could not even beat Sylvester Stallone in the movie Rocky III. <laughs> it was a draw. I'd have squashed that peanut in 30 seconds. Mm, check it out. I get more beautiful looking every sweat. day. Yeah. Holy shit, that's a Jesse's a, Jesse is great on the mic, man. Sad part is Hulk Hogan is still wrestling. I know. That's what's sad about these clips. Dude, how sick is that? Hulk is still fucking wrestling. And look at Thunder Lips. That's when it was Thunder Lips in the flesh, baby. Yeah. Why would he turn his back on Jesse Ventura? Oh, wow. That's not smart in a wrestling ring. Oh, you know what's going to happen. Nah, we can't watch our wrestling fucking matches. <laughs> I want to hear him talk more. I'm telling you, Jesse was he's in the, he's in the top five. Ric Flair, Jesse, The Rock, Stone Cold, and I don't know who who else. There's one more, but un oh, there it is. Wait, uh, top Dusty five. Rhodes, top five, Mike. Oh, Jesus, Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes. Um, not in this, not in, in any order. Dusty Rhodes, The Rock, Stone Cold. Uh, uh, Ric Flair, J Jesse the Body Ventura. Mm -hmm. I, I put those up against any uh -oh. any guys you got on the mic. Here's a little more, Genius. Jesse. All right, hit it. <laughs> this is old school, Jesse. Like you in recent weeks? I hear them all. Everybody wants to know Jesse the Body's private life because they know, Mean Gene, that I date and take out some of the most beautiful women in the world. I've heard that. They go for my hair. The hair. The hair. That's you what they like. Oh, I impose upon you to turn around if our cameraman could get a shot of this. Where in the world would one man in the street go, or a woman for that matter, to get one's hair done such as yours? Opal's Glamorama. Opal Gardner. <laughs> Opal Gardner. Pine Valley. But now let me let me say something else. You see, I notice something when I come saying? out here yeah. right now. Your pants leg is wet. Now you know what that tells me? <laughs> that tells me that in the short past, you've done had one Maurice Mad Dog Vachon out here, haven't you? The animal himself. Well, the, the animal George Steele or something else. Mad Dog, he ruled. Oh, Mean Gene, Mean Gene ruled. 
genius. He was the way great. He, the way he looked, he made the faces all intimidated or sarcastic. Gen genius. Mean Gene ruled. <laughs> all right, why don't we get into the Jesse? Oh, God, Jesse yeah. the body man. So this now we fast now forward we'll to last night. Fast forward to last night. The it's conspiracy nine show on. Conspiracy. Oh, wait, he's a fucking babbling old man. Just an ass. Oh no. Now Jesse steps into America's most controversial conspiracy. The attacks of 9-11. If everything they told us was true, then why would they need the stone walls? Was the official 9-11 report a whitewash and cover-up? These people lied to us. Did the terrorists use more than jetliners to do their devastating damage? There's residues of explosives in the dust. Is the FBI hiding the flight recorders they say have never been recovered? The odds of not finding these black boxes are almost zero. And was Ground Zero a crime scene that Washington obliterated in plain sight? There's something about 9-11 our government doesn't want us to know. These are questions that few have dared to ask, Dare. let alone investigate. Few? Yeah, right? Uh, <laughs> what? Few? Only everybody. Everybody! <laughs> <laughs> Only few have wondered if there's UFOs. Just a couple. <laughs> Me and six other people. They well, can we go up. to the war room and do the Willie, uh, the Willie, the William Rodriguez theory Yeah, let's here? see how the janitor. He was there the day that the towers were hit. And William swears up and down, this is the intriguing part, that an explosion took place below them about six to eight seconds before anything happened way up above. Below? Below. Why come out now? What's he getting from this? Come out now. Oh, he was brought in front of the 9-11 Commission. They took him in a private room. He testified for 30 minutes. And today there's no record of him even being there. Any chance he's not in the record because his story doesn't check out? His story contradicts the official story, Alex, pretty severely, doesn't it? But even uh, if bombs it's going off below? Well, if you don't want that out to the public, why would you acknowledge William Rodriguez in any way, shape, or form? To just deny or not even acknowledge that the guy testified? Come on, that's all shady. And they wouldn't call you to testify unless you had something credible to say. We're going to check out William Rodriguez. Now get me somebody else. Now get me somebody else. Get wow. me Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now we get a physics uh, professor from Salt Lake. All right. What's this about? <laughs> What's the uh, physics professor all about? Uh, maybe he starts talking about thermite, uh, super thermite paint. We are going to look at Stephen Jones. He's a former physics professor from Brigham Young University. Former. Now, he analyzed dust samples from September 11th and says that he found explosive residue in it. Ah, oh, that's what this guy is. Sorry. Really? As soon as he published his findings, he was forced to leave his post at Brigham Young. No kidding. No. So he's effectively fired. Alex, get on a plane, get up to Salt Lake City, interview Professor Jones, find out anything you can about this. You got it. <laughs> yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> Dr. Jones. <laughs> Dr. Jones. <laughs> interview Dr. Jones. <laughs> Dr. Jones! Uh, he, yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it's ridiculous. This guy said... That uh, there was explosive residue on uh, the beams. We're missing out on some great chesty clips through this whole thing. Him peeking in windows, trying locked doors. Oh, him amazed that a door is locked at JFK. Yeah, we'll get into it. <laughs> fucking Jesse. It's an airport <laughs> asshole. And, and the famous super thermite <laughs> discussion right after the break. Okay, uh, Jesse Ventura, we get right back into the conspiracy show. Yes. 9-11 uh, was the topic last night. And we get into the super thermite. Jesse Ventura is investigating the 9-11 conspiracy and a claim that the World Trade Towers were brought down by an explosive substance called super thermite. Sure, they were hit by planes, but I'm saying that's not the full story because there's residues of explosives in the dust. Oh, well, good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Residue of explosives in the dust. Really? Is there... Maybe some guy was bringing explosives to work. <laughs> yeah, and it was some guy. It was in his, his, his file cabinet. <laughs> some dude was just, just keeping dude. explosives on hand. On the Maybe fucking he, on the twelfth floor, there was an explosive place nobody knew about. <laughs> Maybe he had his own plan that he never was able to do. <laughs> he had some dumb plan because he was mad he didn't get a raise. 
Uh, after testing super thermite, dramatic out. As we expected, the beam of the thermite is burning much brighter. It's a much hotter fire than we had before. So the temperature is going to rise in this beam more than it would in the beam without the thermite. Does it burn long enough and hot enough so that we have structural failure? All right. Anybody still got any doubts, Alex? I do. I mean, listen, it's one thing to say that this thing can be liquid. I hate Alex. You could get someone better flunky. than Alex. Alex is the flunky that has to take the opposing view so that, like, uh, Jesse the body doesn't have assassins coming after him. He's a Washington general. The Harlem Globetrotters had to play somebody. Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's just taking the opposing point. Sort of taking it. Sort of. Yeah. Got any doubts, Alex? I do. I mean, listen, it's one thing to say that this thing can be liquefied and used as paint. It's another thing to say that it was used at the World Trade Center site. Rodriguez told me construction was a daily thing there. Yeah. That every floor, when a tenant moved out, construction took place. What happens then? Painting. And painters could be painting this stuff on and not even know it. Imagine if this stuff was painted on buildings in New York. Boston, Washington, D.C., all over the country. There you go. That stuff could be everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. That stuff could oh, be everywhere. Asbestos is a oh, is oh, just oh. one of them things that's on the structures, man. Oh, who's mesothelioma? Who's the bestest? <laughs> what? The bestest. As the bestest. <laughs> as bestest. I, I ain't the bestest. <laughs> you, <laughs> you as bestest go as fast as you can, motherfucker. Uh, come on, Patrice. Unbelievable I'm how he... Uh, you had your hour. Let's, this let's, could let's, let's be have a point every, of our clips. Everywhere. <laughs> You're killing me. Everywhere. Because now we get into Jesse going down to the crime scene. Yes, come on now. Crime scene Jesse. Jesse's being thorough, man. You got to love Jesse. Let's listen to this clip. After seeing that... There was only one place to go next. I headed to Ground Zero. I didn't expect to find any super thermite, but I also didn't expect to find so many victim survivors still looking for answers. Why, why wouldn't you expect to find victim survivors at the Trade Center site? That's where they go. That's where people go, Jesse. I sure didn't expect to see construction right. workers. Let's go to Ryan in Minnesota. Ryan. Hey guys, how you doing? I'm good, man. Good. Hey, you know, I don't believe this whole thing is a huge conspiracy, but I did see an interesting video at a friend of mine's house one time. The video of that demolition truck, of those demolition crews that were leaving the scene that someone caught a glimpse of with their video camera. What, what was painted on the side? Acme? Uh, yeah. <laughs> is, there, is there a coyote driving the fucking yeah. truck? Oh my god! If you were de if, if, if you if you were gonna if you were gonna fucking do this, what would you have a truck that just says demolition on the side, or would you be like in cog fucking needle? I can't talk about this shit anymore. Even close encounters know to put piggly wiggly signs on the side of their trucks. <laughs> no, you would make it very obvious. Demolition, maybe a nice fucking yeah. picture of dynamite. World Trade Center. Uh, yeah. No offense, Ryan. I'm, I'm sorry, but I, I, I am so sick of trying to discuss this in general at this Acme point. Acme Demolition. Uh, official demolition crew of the World Trade Center explosion. Right, right. We, yeah. What the fuck do you think of Wild E. Coyote? Super no, genius. All right, brother. I, I, I don't oh, mean to yell, shit. but... I <laughs> was on the side of Agni. All right, Jesse Ventura down at the crime scene. Oh, he's, yes. he's down at uh, Ground Zero. <laughs> For answers. Jesse makes his way closer to the scene of the crime. He's hoping to get into the Ground Zero site, maybe find some remnants of the original steel that he can bring back for testing. What is he talking about? <laughs> what? Ant knows. If you live in New York, everyone knows. They, that they, stuff is long gone. They went through that with fucking, like, like beach sieves. Right. To they make built, sure they wasn't like anything. battleships or something out of that steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Some long of the steel. gone. I it mean, was in fresh kills, and a, then it's a... A it, brand it, new building should be in its place by now, but with that said, it's it's a completely different why the fuck place. Is it, why are we building a building yet? Uh, What's uh, going on? Tape shit. Take another Bureaucratic half hour. Oh, oh, really? Shit. You walk in there, and oh, they tell you to shut this off. Yeah. But the police guard won't let him closer than a view of the new Freedom Tower, built to withstand impacts from above, 
and below. The new buildings would withstand the heat from jet fuel or super thermite. But the original steel? It was long gone. Most of it shipped out and recycled. This crime scene had been destroyed a long time ago. Oh my God! I can't. I can't do crime this. Crime scene has been destroyed. I can't do this. And, and who's who going to clean up? Were you supposed to leave everything right. in fucking downtown Manhattan? And who's saying that the new building will survive that? Who's, I, who's saying? Yeah. That? I'll tell you why D D Jesse people think he's a douche on this, and I'm and it just because of that soundbite. No one likes a motherfucker who who makes his points poignantly where he thinks that this is this will get you yeah, yeah. and he's like gotcha he now took the steel and it's gone and he should always end up like going hmm Hold on. Huh? he does too. how about if, that motherfuckers if, if he didn't know any better you would assume this is old audio and jesse was down there september 12th yeah, yeah. september 13th september 14th <laughs> eight of 2001 years later. it's eight years later <laughs> I, i'm looking for evidence <laughs> sorry jesse that we didn't wait for you to come down eight years later to investigate by the way where were you a week after this thing that's when you should have tried to get in there oh, i hate this guy now i'm I looking for guy. evidence down at the scene of the crime maybe i could take a piece of metal back for testing and then and they're not letting you in because guess what guys are working yeah they they, they, they don't want they don't want people milling around and yeah yeah at this point they got a job to do to bring money home to their families. What a tool. Uh, what really happened on 9-11? Oh, Jesse's going to wow. tell us. The end result is this. The government knowingly destroyed all the evidence. And you think that's because they're covering it up? Why else? Give me an example of why they would change basic police investigation. The logic is that people didn't want to have to look at okay. that eyesore all right. oh. and remind themselves all of right. what happened all on right. that day. I'll give that to you. But then why did it all have to be destroyed? Couldn't they have removed it and taken it to another spot so that yeah. then it could be investigated? No. The main focus going on that day was to get rid of every shred of evidence, melt it down, build Navy ships out of it, ship it off to China. Anything they could do with the remains out there, they did it. It would have taken a mere two to three hours to check for demolition. And he was a governor, huh? Two to three hours to check for demolition. Well, maybe in two to three hours, you know, they were uh, busy maybe looking for survivors. Mm -hmm. And then as far as getting rid of the evidence, it, it, it was called cleaning up the uh, the bottom of Manhattan, and, you and, dummy. And a lot of that steel sat, where was it again? In, in fresh kills. Fresh, yeah, fresh kills. Uh, uh, for Staten for years. And then finally someone came along and said, you know what? Well, we got to do something with Scrap this shit. It, do something so with this shit. let's make a ship out of it. There's some over there in, at Kennedy Airport, like you well, said, right. in, in uh, hangar, hang, the mysterious Hangar 17. There's some great <laughs> feedback coming in. George and Philly's right. Come on, guys. Everyone knows you don't clear a crime scene for at least 10 years. And then Eric <laughs> in Virginia Tech writes, oh, we're, uh, were they supposed to leave everything as is? Where it was because a wrestler hadn't looked at it yet. A wrestler hadn't looked. <laughs> That's what it is. And Redding from Whackbag. Uh, wow, and you guys gave dice shit for being there a month after 9 11. By the way, please play Quantum Dice. Can we play Quantum Dice today? Quantum it might, Dice. It might make sense today. Uh, and it goes on and on. All right, let's. We're, we're running out of time. Yeah, I want to hear some more. No, here's the narrator Jesse is in stealth mode. Oh, is he? Well, a lot of the evidence from 9-11 is stored at a hangar at JFK, Hangar 17. We asked permission to go in, and they wouldn't let us in, even without our cameras. And they wonder why there's conspiracy theories? <laughs> Let's get on this one, people. Now, Jesse is in stealth mode at John F. Kennedy Airport. Gotta hang with dice. This is where much of the remaining evidence from Ground Zero is stored. Uh, that evidence could hold many answers. Can it? Really? Can it hold many answers? And when, when, he's in, when he's in JFK, is the music going, do, 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 do. Yeah, where he's like, do, 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 do. No, the, ding, ding, ding. What's the one uh, Fred Flintstone on his uh, tippy toes? 
We used to play. This is some cartoon shit, so we need some cartoon sound effects. It's like That's Flintstone so when he was being stealth. He would get on his tippy toes and crawl, you know. We got the sound somewhere. Is it in mine? <laughs> there he is. All right, let me look over here. <laughs> no, this door's locked. Amazing that a door would be locked here at an airport. <laughs> what, wait, what's that? <laughs> here, camera crew, follow me. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> well, here's the clip of him peeping in windows. Or doors? Uh, whatever. Yeah, it's a door with a window okay, in Okay, all right, that makes sense, sure. This is the infamous Hangar 17. Infamous. This is a place where we've contacted on multiple, multiple occasions to go inside and see what they have inside this building because there are remnants from September the 11th in there. And i got to stop you because I don't want to uh -huh. lose this one. Who's your, who's your daddy, 44, on Twitter? Uh, oh, there's a piece of a beam from 9-11 on display. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? Yeah. It's going to blow everyone away here. Uh-huh. At a truck stop in Nebraska. <laughs> there you go. Why not just go to the truck With stop the in Nebraska? With the plaque and everything that says, this came from. <laughs> Why not just go to the truck Breaking stop news. in Nebraska, uh, Jesse? There's an actual beam at a truck stop in Nebraska. And check it for... <laughs> Uh, That's breaking news right there. Inside this building, because there are remnants from September the 11th in there. Get up here! Get up here! This is what they don't want me to see. We've tried to get in this building. We can't even get in it now. The door's locked. You can see girders, obviously from the 9-11 site. Were they tested for super thermite? I doubt it. Look at all that dust. That's where they find it. Why won't they give us access to this building? Because you're... Because it's a fucking probably, building on an airport. Honestly, it's honestly probably because he didn't ask. <laughs> yeah. And and if they want to hide it so much, how come he could walk up to the window in the door, right. and it's sitting right there when you look in the window? Wouldn't he just, like, like a good drug dealer, just black out the window? Yeah. Yeah, like black out the window, put something, <laughs> put something even over it. Look at Patrice, done. Look at Patrice, he's mean, done. He can't dude, even argue anymore. They left nothing. There was They weren't hiding <laughs> anything this is what they don't want me to see what's right behind this very open window this this shut down patrice look at him he's done it's because jesse's, jesse's approach ass. is just right it's horrendous his approach is that's why i wanted to get to these clips they're just amazing his, his approach on how bad it is i have george the animal steel looking in another window <laughs> yes <Exactly>. george <laughs> George, go rip the. There's a piece of turnbuckle that's between yes. <laughs> the door and the dust. <laughs> rip the knob off hey, with your teeth hey, like you did the turnbuckle. George, George, you see that guard over there? Hit him in the neck with a foreign object spoon that you have hidden in your shorts. What we need to get through this door is the Polish hammer. Where's Ivan Putski and his right. Polish hammer? The wrestlers, then right. I'm going to get Mr. Right. Fuji to throw salt Spook in the guard's eyes. Fuji. So they'll, it'll blind them. We can then test for thermite. Super thermite. Moon, Where's Moon Dog Spot? I need you to go over there. <laughs> go throw your bone down for that fat woman to go. Where? Here's Hacksaw Jim Duncan. We could use that two by four by now. Here's what we're going to do, Hacksaw. We want to steal the beam and have you replace it with your two by four so they know nothing's missing. Where's Earthquake? He'll run through this door. Shut up, George. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll go over there and fucking hate him. Such in an idiot. And throw salt in his eyes, Mr. Fuji. Oh, All right, here's what we shit. need. Jimmy Superfly Snooker <laughs> has to jump through the ductwork on the roof. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, Mr. Fuji, don't throw thermite in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what was that that Mr. Fuji was throwing? Oh, I don't think it was salt. <laughs> Scott S. from Quaker Town. Chief J. Strongbow. Put a sleeper hold on the security guard. <laughs> this is what they don't want us to see. Oh, it would make a great cartoon. Jesse and his fellow oh, wrestlers. Wrestlers are all going at it. <laughs> <laughs> Just fight, trying to find conspiracies. Oh. Ben Tour, here's Steven S. from Bayshore. <laughs> If Andre the Giant was here, God rest his soul, we'd simply be able to look over the wall. <laughs> was Andre killed in a preemptive strike? Uh, Think about it. Conspiracies. Somebody, somebody flew a plane into Andre. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking Jesus. You could hear explosions in his shoes <laughs> before he fell down. <laughs> oh, fuck balls, This man. fucking guy, you gotta write your name if you're instant feedback in. They painted Owen Hart with thermite paint. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> All right, you know. Oh, fuck you know, right. right. Oh, <laughs> you got, uh... God, hold on. What the fuck? So There's too many. There's too... Uh, All right. Uh, Redding. We had Brutus the Barber Beefcake <laughs> cut the locks with his giant shears. With the shears. Oh, shit. And a uh, coincidence, George the Animal Steel. <laughs> the steel they won't show us. We'll show you our steel. You show us yours. <laughs> Greg Sledder. Maybe we can sleep. rebuild him. <laughs> Greg, Greg the Hammers. The hammer. <laughs> Greg from Long Island. If, if I had my feather boa for my days in the ring, I could swing to the top of the building. Yeah, so I put a grappling hook on it. Oh, shit balls, man. Uh, Where's the ass man? Yeah. <laughs> he could distract him with his ass. Uh, oh, they're coming in fast. Uh, oh, I didn't know this. Rich O from D.C. Sergeant Slaughter is my army contact, <laughs> and he says we knew about <laughs> That's it. That's a good one. We That's talked to one. Sergeant Slaughter. Why weren't the planes scrambled on uh, that day? And where was the Iron Sheik? <laughs> yeah. Chris C. from Virginia. Get Coco Beware's parrot to do some recon. <laughs> Have the Iron Sheik show this man some discipline and fuck him in the ass. Like he always threatens. <laughs> oh, my God. They're coming in way too fucking fast. <coughs> oh, shit. Hey, hey ass man, use your ass to open the door. <laughs> he probably could. Uh, the 9-11 explosions were funded by Ted DiBiase. <laughs> That's Jordan. The great. millionaire Ted DiBiase. Follow the money, people. Follow the money trail. <laughs> Warrior Serge. Jesse's full of shit. Former tag team champions Demolition. Hello. <laughs> Who applied the thermite paint? <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate warrior's face painted with thermite paint. All he had to do was rub his face on a beam, and it brought the buildings down. Do I have to say any more? <laughs> I can't keep up with this shit. Uh, there was a good one. It went flying by. Where is it? Uh, 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 Andrew in Jersey. The Undertaker's Paul Bearer's urn was full with thermite dust. Thermite dust. dust. He just threw it. <laughs> it's the oh, same people that blew up Vince's limousine. Oh, <laughs> and you yeah. saw how that worked out. <laughs> there was a conspiracy with Vince McMahon. Andrew from It always gets bad. Andrew from Belmar. Fuck, where'd it go? Wow, I've never seen this feedback fly by like this. Jake the Snake will break through high on Coke. <laughs> 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 what do they call it? Jesse Ventura and his super conspiracy busting wrestling all stars. Pete from Connecticut. <sighs> and then uh, I don't have to tell you that Steve Austin's going to open a can of whoop thermite. Uh, cigars of scotch. I didn't know this, man. <laughs> Same people that blew up Vince's limo. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, you said that one? Uh, yes, motherfucker. Also. Sorry about that. It's all right. We're crossing over now. Yeah. Oh, man. I love it. God damn. Uh, 
That's a funny angle. Him and his wrestling. Tipsy, uh, Mr. T, USA. Miss Elizabeth, Elizabeth was murdered because she knew about super thermite. Jesse. Super thermite. And, and Jesse, one, one of the airport security guys just shot you. You're bleeding. Ain't got time to bleed. Ain't got time to bleed. <laughs> Ain't, got to bleed. <laughs> Ain't got time to bleed. I want to introduce a new uh, wrestling t tag team, Super Thermite. <laughs> That's right, Super Thermite's gonna fight tonight! <laughs> and his partner, Bullshit. <laughs> uh, Chad and Phoenix, Chris Benoit, mind control. Nothing left to say. They pointed the harp system at Chris Benoit. Oh, he didn't shit. want to kill his family. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's a funny angle, man. That's, 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 that's like the, it's like when the fucking Harlem Globetrotters had their own fucking show. Didn't they have their own show, or they were just uh, part of uh, Scooby Doo? The Scooby Doo. Uh, think about it. No, the Harlem Globetrotters had their own. I think they did. And weren't they trying to solve crimes? And they might have been. Yeah. King so. Kong climbed the Empire State Building. We're getting King Kong Bundy <laughs> to climb Hangar Seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> he is a, just a dummy. Uh, is there are there any more clips? Chuck your dog. That's selfish. <laughs> I got one. I'm good. <laughs> With his chains around his neck. <laughs> could someone get China's clit? I think we could <laughs> use it to open this law. We could shimmy the door <laughs> with her clit. Giant clitoris. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Jesse explains the government's 9-11 involvement. Oh, yeah. The only way this works is if it's an inside job. Isn't that what we're investigating here, Alex? Do I believe that the government would set out to kill over 3,000 of its own citizens and bring down some of its most iconic landmarks? No, I don't. You're telling me that you do? I don't necessarily believe the government did it. But I will tell you who I think might have. How many people here know what a false flag operation is. You have any idea? Okay, what it is, basically, it's a lie. It's a deception that the government does in which to get the public to believe something so that they can carry out an agenda. Like Rowdy Roddy and They Live. That was a black flag operation. <laughs> and finally, he wraps it all up. Recaps his findings. Every government official we talk to refers us back to the 9-11 report. Well, I've read the 9-11 report, and there's nothing in it that talks about the explosion below that William Rodriguez told us about. There's nothing in the 9-11 report that talks about the thermite. <laughs> Him and his thermite. Shut up with your thermite. Chris S. from Shirley, bravo. The Brooklyn Brawler <laughs> saw the whole thing go down from his apartment. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just don't want to lose these before they play. Uh, the Brooklyn <laughs> Brawler. There's nothing in the 9-11 report that talks about the thermite discovered in the dust that Professor Jones told us about. And it certainly doesn't explain why our air defense was in a stand-down mode stand while all down. hell was breaking loose in our airspace. And finally, where are the eyewitness testimonies? People like Mike Ballone, who swear they found the black boxes at Ground Zero. And where are those black boxes now? Are they being hidden because they might tell us that the hijackers were in the cockpit of American Airlines before it even took off? These are the facts as we found. <laughs> what? What? Why? Why would they do that? What the Why? fuck? If they were fully aware, wouldn't they just shut their fucking... They were in the cockpit before the plane took off. Actually, months before. They had been flying overnights from New York, flying the red eye from New York to L.A. Jesus. Actually, good pilots. <laughs> <laughs> Very informative. They pointed out the Grand Canyon to me. Holy shit. And the Hoover Dam. Before it even took off, these are the facts as we found them. But I'm more convinced than ever that the real story of 9-11 is lying in some government vault somewhere. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Conspiracy Theory. In some government vault, along with the Ark of the Covenant, <laughs> in a big wooden box with Nazi symbols burnt off. <laughs> oh, that's fucking Don't look at the beam. 
Don't look at the beam. Turn your head. <laughs> Dummy. Hey, Rick. <laughs> nah, I don't think I was going to do a Rick Flair woo joke. <laughs> woo! <laughs> this back then with a woo, I was going to go with uh, I just got tired. I just literally got tired. <laughs> that fucking guy is... Uh, there you go, the Nazi's head melting because he looked at the fucking beam. He, he, uh, he burnt by thermite. Yeah, I was gonna, yeah. See, what happened was the Nazis got too close to the thermite that was in the Ark of the Covenant. But Indy turned away. Now, why did Indy live through that? <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I'm she's gonna <laughs> make Jesse humble, and then you're a date on the guards. That's Andrew and Baltimore. Uh, the great god Thermopolis is what yeah. Therm Thermopolis <laughs> what burns face. Thermite paint. And there's too many coming in, but people from all over the country saying there's a little piece of uh, the Twin Towers in my city. There's one in Albany. There's one here. It's uh, it's it, it, I can't get to all of them. I'm here at Pergamon's looking for thermite paint. <laughs> Do you have it in a gloss? Are there even pergaments anymore? <laughs> I'm here at Home Depot. Jeez. I'm at Lowe's. Look, I need something in a semi-gloss eggshell. No, do you have it in thermite? Explosive super thermite. Why are you removing me from the store? Right. Jason asked from Rockland County, we're going to have a ladder match to reach the keys to the government vault. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow, 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 You think it might have been steroids that got Jesse a little weird in his I later years? I have no fucking idea. I have idea. no idea if he ever did steroids, but the two video clips we saw, his arms were very, very different. Yeah, he, he, Extremely I, different. I don't know. I don't know what to I don't know either. Him. But you know something? Next week, What's next I'm week? watching that stupid show again. What's next week? This is our uh, new bit. What is next week's because subject? We get all the fucking wrestlers involved. Is it Manchurian candidates? Do we know? Next week, what is it? Bigfoot? My hair, where did it go? <laughs> <laughs> Why do I have a rat tail? Top Gunt from Canada. I did not know this. Top Hacksaw uh, Jim Duggan actually carries around a beam from the towers now. Why did not he just go to Jesse and have it tested? He, he, up, uh, he updated his look. It's now just a beam. Now there's around. Dusty Rhodes. I like to check the dust on him. Oh, is, that, is that explosive <laughs> remnants? Dusty Rhodes. Thermite Rhodes. They should check the lumps on his body. <laughs> yeah, see what I know what's going on there. See what he's hiding. Oh, I'm sure shit. it's explosive. Uh, what's the uh, what's next week's? We don't know what next week's is. Gotta come on. You saw the show. What was the coming preview? You think right? I remembered? I fucking tuned that out of my head in a second. Harp, not a global warming. Oh, wow. Imagine the wrestlers oh, trying to figure out the God. global warming thing. Yeah. Global warming, earthquake, <laughs> and typhoon. Typhoon. Oh, this is perfect. Start working on your lines for next week, boys. We'll see you guys tomorrow.